Welcome to episode 8. On Sunday, Harry and I, and the rest of England, woke up to a blanket of snow. So we decided to enjoy the weather and leave our van DIY until a later date. If you missed last week's video, we installed all of our wall cladding. But this week is all about making our window frame from scratch and installing our partition wall to separate the driving cab from our home. So make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel as it's a completely free way that you can help to support us. So let's get into it. Hey, so <laughs> it's Wednesday now and we are kind of starting our week today, aren't we? Yeah. Um, so we're going to start with our window frames. Um, we kind of need to work out how they work, paint them with our nice wood stain colour and get them all attached. So, so that's what we're going to do today. We're going to get on with that now? Yeah, let's do it now. Let's go! <laughs> Every time. <laughs> let's, let's go! go. Riding back so, so we have three windows to make frames for, two big and one small. So we started by measuring the perimeter of the windows, making sure to measure each side two or three times. We started with the outer frames and cut these pieces up with our circular saw. We're using the 44 by 10 mm timber. We double checked the four pieces would fit together well and then proceeded to lay them down on the floor and would glue them together. We're also using Gorilla Wood Glue and all the products we're using today are linked in the PDF documents in the description below. After leaving the glue to dry for a few hours, Harry then sanded the outer frames. Now time for the inner frames. We're using 10 by 68 mm timber for these. We made sure all four corners fit together correctly then used L-shaped brackets to connect the corners together. To do this, we used the smallest screws we could find so they wouldn't break all the way through the timber. We're using Spax 10mm countersunk screws. We then wood stained the outer and inner frames using our Ron Seal Natural Oak wood stain. Overall, we painted about two or three coats, as well as a coat of varnish at the end. All right, guys, we just wanted to give you a little progress update of where we're at right now and just show you what we're kind of doing. So down here, um, we have got one of our interiors of our frame, so it's the bit that's going to slot into the window. So as you can see, this bit here is going to be the bit that's visible, so we've just done our first coat on that. And we've connected them with little uh, L hinges, we call them, I don't know what the official term is now, hopefully it'll pop up on the screen. I think screen. they're called L brackets. L brackets, so hopefully they'll pop up on the screen from screw for fix. you now from screw fix. So they're just there, connected on each corner, just to kind of hold it in place. That's going to slot into the window, and then we're going to have the frames that are here. Yeah. Them frames are going to be on top, obviously that's for our smaller window. So hopefully it'll all come together at the end and we can show you what we mean. But for now we're just going to keep making them L brackets, do it for the bigger window and keep going. So while we're waiting for our paint to dry, I guess this is a good time for you guys to go follow our Instagram at The Van Vicious Project, where you can see posts like this and like this. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, go follow the Instagram guys at The Van Vicious Project. Yo guys, it's Thursday and we are doing our partition wall today and finishing off some final coats on the window frames. Yeah. So I've we've already cut out the first half of our partition wall. I've just painted it this random like grey white colour. We just had leftover paint. And that's gonna be the back, just so it looks a bit nicer from our cab side. So we're gonna secure it now and see what happens. So after cutting our plywood to be flush with the curves of the van, we sanded it down and got on with the floor battens that would stabilise the partition wall. So we used two medium 22 by 47s, which we drilled into the plywood floor of the van. We overlapped them slightly, leaving a 5mm gap for our 5mm plywood to slot into. Alright guys, so we're going to use some of our 22 by 47 battens that we have left over, and we're going to slot them down the side of the plywood wall that we're making just so that we get a flush finish on this side. Hopefully you'll know what we mean later when we show you later on. Uh, we're gonna attach this to the plywood now on the side and then put some little noggin support bands, as we call them, as we called them in the videos before, onto the van so that it's nice and secure. And we're gonna do all that now and hopefully you'll see what we mean. So we're putting noggins here now so that they are screwed into the metal of the van. 
so when we put our partition wall up it will be very secure and we're easy driving them in because we love easy drive screws so much i've just got them everywhere great Man I power. I the door. Oh, good point, mm -hmm. darling. No, fine. So it's pretty dark, but. So I put a screw in down the bottom, and we've also put this little noggin into the cladding. Move your oh, hand. The bottom one's not actually in. We're gonna have to oh. redo that, but that's fine. So it's gonna be there, just so we can screw the wall into it, just to give it an extra support and yeah. stop it bowing. Um, and yeah, we're just gonna keep adding in little support bits just to s screw into. Yeah. Alright guys, so it's Friday and today we are finishing off our frames hopefully and doing some support noggins for the rest of our partition wall. So we're just going to get this baton here, screw it into our overhead and um, yeah from there we're going to build out some ply to connect to the rest of our partition wall. Hopefully you'll see what we mean in a bit. Alright guys, so we've had a bit of a change of heart. We've decided that the best way to stop this wall from looking, because obviously it's in two parts, from looking a bit jaggedy, we're going to put a shelf in just to stop the bow. So hopefully Nikki can bring over the camera and show you what we mean. If I slot that there, we're going to put a timber strut, one of our... 68 by 10. 68 by 10, and we're going to attach that there so we have some sort of shelf. Yeah. Um, and then we're going to obviously put the wall up from here to here. So we're gonna have a nice shelf there and we're gonna screw that in. So it's just a nice little rack that we can put our sunglasses and stuff on when we're away. Yeah. Bit of inspiration. So we're gonna get on with that now. So Harry and I have just installed that little shelf that we were talking about earlier. And here it is. We're pretty chuffed with it. Yeah, it does actually look quite good. We're really chuffed, aren't we? Yeah. So this is what we're gonna put in here gonna put three all the way up this so we're gonna pocket hole it up into this timber that we've put by our headliner and then down here we're gonna leave a little bit of room to put another piece of 5.5 millimeter ply um, so we have a little back to our shelf and then this we can just pop things on like I like so <laughs> yeah. Firewood. so yeah well done babe yeah chuffed. I'm happy Yo guys, so it's Saturday today and we are just finishing our partition wall behind us. So we've just gone to Wicks and I bought one more pack of 8 by 94 millimeter cladding, which is the same stuff we used on the walls. And we're just going to put in some support battens here and put in the cladding. Yeah, a little wall here. Yeah, just to finish off the little wall above our shelf. And then we're done for this week. And then we are done. So the video's up tonight, so you're going to be seeing this tonight. Cool, so let's get on with it. What's there to say? There's nothing but space in between you and I. It's okay that we change. But it feels Harry and I <laughs> have just put in these um, these struts here, and um, they're just going to support our cladding, which will go on top. You're the only love that I've ever known, but we turn into a flower that never grows. I was hiding like the moon. I should have told you that I loved you One more time One more time One more time I should have told you that So that is what we did this week We had done the window frames and we've done our partition wall with a little shelf on it and finished it up here with some cladding and we're really happy aren't we? Yeah, we are chuffed with it again. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and we will see you next week Yeah, see you next week, bye! Bonjour, ça va? Ça va bien? Ça va douche? Je me douche? <laughs> Je me lave. Je me lave. Je me brosse les dents. Je m'habille. Je mange. Ouais, chuch. Let's do this. Let's do this. You're so annoying! <laughs>